us tonight, our guest panel, who will be helping our audience decide who will be tonight's champion. Sometimes people say you don't need to be a brain surgeon to get it. Well, in this case, you kind of do. Here to help us understand what we're seeing, actual brain surgeon and neuroscientist, Dr. Rahul Jandial. Dr. John Dial, how is Zoe's brain going to remember a pattern so quickly? Well, this is spectacular. She might be memorizing these in binary code, like ones and zeros. But think about this. Numbers are the hardest thing to memorize. Sounds, smells, and pictures are easier. So if she can do this, this will be something to see. Dr. John Dial, can you help us understand how difficult something like this is? I think it's incredibly rare. The speed in which she added it to her brain, and how quickly she rattled him off. It was incredible and, and riveting to see. Thank you. Congratulations, Zoe. Dr. John Diel, how does somebody do this? Just think of a simple example. How hard is it to remember how to hit the light switch in the dark? It takes a couple of goes, right, before you get that muscle memory. Now, imagine walking in a room having 50 light switches, taking a look for five minutes, turning off the lights, and then hitting all those wall switches seamlessly. That's kind of what she's going to try to do. I think it's nearly impossible. I'm rooting for you, though. Now, well, Brandy, we're going to give you some time to study it. Just let me know when you're ready. You think you can handle that? I can handle that. All right. Now, Dr. John Dial, we're asking Ronnie to remember 15 phone numbers, which is essentially 150 numbers in addition to 15 names and 15 facts. Is there a strategy to storing memory in a way that makes it easier to remember? Well, I think what he's going to try it's called a memory palace. So you take the number and you take the facts and you say, I'm walking through a home. On the front door is cowgirl one, phone number this. Now I'm in the kitchen on the wall on the fridge is cowgirl two, phone number this. And then when we ask him to recall it, he'll take a walk down that through that house to help remember the, the numbers. Well, that is how I do things. I'm going to be putting these women in, in rooms in my home. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Your job is to add them up. Each round, they will appear faster and faster. Dr. John Dial, question for you. It's one thing to do math on paper, uh, but Yesnier here is able to do calculations in his mind almost instantly. How is that possible? Well, this is much more than just math. So to do this, he's got to have vision to pick up the numbers quickly. He's got to have memory to remember what he's adding. And then on top of that, he's got to add calculation. I'm rooting for you. If he pulls it off, it'll be phenomenal. I think we all want you to take a second, right? Question for Dr. John Diel here. What is it about his mind that gives him the ability to do this? Well, first of all, if I didn't see it in real life, I wouldn't even believe it was true. So this is phenomenal, all right? What he's doing with his eyes, and just because we can explain it doesn't mean we can do it, but he's taking two images, your left eye image and your right eye image, and bringing them on top of each other. And that lets the difference stand out. All right, John, let's do it, baby. Come on, Jenny. All these people believe in you. We are going to play you three songs, but you won't be able to hear any of them. You'll have to identify those songs just by watching the musician's fingers. You think you can do it? I think I can do it. OK, good. I think I can do it. Dr. John Dial, before we get started, what does Caitlin's brain need to do during this challenge? Well, this is something special. Usually, you think of a song and you play it with your fingers. She's going to do auditory imagery in reverse. See the fingers and imagine the song in her mind. Absolutely fantastic. Okay. Of course, you can't have a musical challenge without a musician. So, Dr. John Diel, as a brain expert, how impressive is this to you? To watch him use proprioception or muscle memory, connect people to stories and places, and actually physically carry it out with his hands, it really is the pinnacle of memory, and he's demonstrated uber memory tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, Lewis. Now it's time to find out if you can win the grand prize. And Dr. John Diel. Everybody was fantastic. Some were marvelous, but I'm going to go with Eusenia Vieira. The lightning speed in which you had to execute that, was that, that left me speechless, and, and it was jaw-dropping. 